So first thing I always want to do is factor out always factor items out as possible, okay? Now, basically when we're looking at polynomials and our polynomials, I'm looking at, once I've factored everything, I'm looking for everything that is, um, everything that is unique. So you guys can see I have x plus four, that is, uh, that is unique, these two share it. Two is unique, and x minus two is unique. But I'm not going to include this x plus 4 because that's redundant. I already have it included in x plus 4, right? So my LCD is just all the uniqueness. So it's going to be 2 times x plus 4 times x minus 2. Now, could you multiply those out? Of course you could. But we're not going to multiply them out because, again, remember the purpose of this is to use the division property to divide our denominators into our numerator. So we don't want to multiply them out. But what we do have to do is multiply every single term by our LCD. So I have 2 times x plus 4 times x minus 2. I have 2 times x plus 4 times x minus 2. And then I have times 2 times x plus 4 times x minus 2. Now watch. Do you guys see these are all separated by multiplication? Do you guys see they're all separate by multiplication? So guess what? The x plus 4s divide out. These are all separated by multiplication, right? So x minus 2s divide out. These are all separated by multiplication, right? So guess what? The 2s and the x plus 4s divide out. So now we're left with an equation with no more, with no more denominators. Do you guys see how all the denominators divided out? That's the purpose of multiplying by your LCD. If you're not finding an LCD that makes that simple, you didn't get the right LCD. That's why the LCD is going to make this easy for you. So therefore, I'm left with 3 times 2 times x minus 2 minus 1 times 2 times x plus 4 equals 5. Now, we can just apply, or I can simplify this. Hello. Five times what? X minus two. X minus two where? Here? Top right. 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 Top Good catch. So now I can apply distributive property. And then to do a problem like this, you just combine all your terms on the same side, right? So let's just get all the x's to the left hand side and then all the other numbers to the right. So therefore, it looks like I'm going to have 1x, so I'm going to have a negative x. And then equals negative 10 plus 12 is going to be a positive 2, plus 8 is going to be 10. Yep. And then we'll just divide by negative 1. <coughs> 